What's up guys? So just a quick hint on kind of what you look at when you see, you know, for a lot of new users, not familiar with the difference between your thermal resolution and then your display resolution. So you'll see these on almost all thermal devices. There's actually a thermal resolution. Those are pretty common. There's only about four to five common thermal resolutions. 256, 320 is a little less common, but it does exist. 384, 640, and then 1280s, which are very, really, very new to the market. So then you've also got another resolution that can be much higher. That's the actual display resolution. So that's actually what you'll experience back here in the eyepiece. Now, what does that do? I can have a 640 thermal resolution and a 1084 uh, display resolution all the way up to a 2560. Well, that's actually a physical difference in the size, right? So that's why you'll see a bigger eyepiece on the back of one of our new devices compared to some of the entry level or V1 versions that use 1084, these are using new 2560 displays. Image quality doesn't have to be that different. You can use a 640 with a 1084 display resolution or a 2560 display resolution. Your image quality can be similar. What it does though, is it changes the dynamics of your base magnification, right? So it raises the base magnification due to the mathematical calculation. So just keep an eye on that. It makes a small difference in image quality sometimes, but it can make a big difference in your magnification range and just your comfort in viewing that device in the back. You're not having to squint at a bigger display. So they're a lot more comfortable viewing over long periods of time. So just keep those two things in mind and keep them separate when you're comparing specs from different manufacturers.